Chris out of lane three, gold in the one and the two. And the long jump in Doha. From Guangzhou. All three medalists from the 100 metres from Doha are in this. Zhou Wenzhen won the bronze in the one and the two. And Edson Pinero beneath the two Chinese took the silver. the champion of David Horns in this as well in the form of Lukami Vijegas of Colombia and Sadibi of Mali. Here is Edson Pinero. He's been winning major championships since uh, major championship medals since 2011. But he was injured for London 2012, so didn't win a medal there. Still made finals. Lukami Vijegas of Colombia. First major championship for him and happy to be in the spotlight, certainly. is 18 years old. He competed in the Grand Prix in Dubai in 2016. That was the week after the inaugural Asia Oceania Championships. And he pulled a muscle while competing in that, so he's had a few muscle problems, a few injury problems this year. There is who, the triple world champion from Doha last October. They've had a bit of a wait since coming out, but now they are ready to go. Hu Jian Wen from Gangshu won this title in the absence of Evan O'Hanlon in Doha, and now looking to beat the Paralympic champion overall in this. Won the one, the two, and the long jump. Edson Panero, silver in the 100 meters in Doha, bronze in the 100 in 2013 in Doha. Representing Brazil, Zhu Wenzhen of China, bronze in the one and the two in Doha. So all three medalists from that alongside each other here. Silver in the four, bronze in the one and the two in London 2012. Sidibe and Lukumi Viegas, championship debutants. And Chiba is the reigning Paralympic champion of a 400 metres from the last two games. Fourth in the 100 and 200 in London. But he did... Uh, Finish fifth in Beijing. Because the top three to go through to the final, plus the next two fastest. Who in three? Pinero four, Zhu five, Lakumi Viega six, Chida seven, and Sadibi in eight. Away first time, solid start by Who and by Zhu. With Panero in between was the world champion Hu Jin Wen, leading out his compatriot Zhu. 10.93 and easing up over the line. Not very far away from the world record. Panero up in third place for Brazil. And what a standard being set by the world champion Hu. Zhou in second place. It's a new Asian record. 10.93 that was. And Panero has got up in his second there. Zhu obviously just piffed on the line, and he was. So Pinero takes the second place, and Zhu easing up. Season's best 11.34 there, but looked as if it was going to be China 1-2 for a long time. Who very strong and comfortable, and Zhu totally eased up himself, and Pinero overtook him. You saw a devastating start for Sadibi, who just stumbled and couldn't uh, regain his footing as a result, couldn't complete the course. Yes, he did have him for second. Pin Hero right in the last millimetre, but this has made a statement. Hu Jen Wen, the world champion, 1093, has gone 0.15 quicker than he's ever gone, and really does spell danger for the athletes in the second heat, including. Evan O'Hanlon, and look at that form. Great upper body strength, and oh, you just get the impression there was a little bit left in the locker as well. 
there is from one contrast to the other the shattered man Umar Sadibi who stumbled out of the blocks and unfortunately couldn't regain his footing but that was impressive from the Chinese athlete yeah, it's a big pity for Umar Sadibi and this is first major championship as well that is being helped away off the track very very unfortunate for him and you do have to feel for him so who wins 1093 Edson Pinot